What's up, SEO legends? Let's talk about Airbnb. I'm sure we all know the name, we know the company, but how much do we know about their SEO strategy? Let's get into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is add the Airbnb URL to Ahrefs and take a look at an overview of their traffic. So they're getting around 14 million in monthly traffic. That's a lot, a lot of keywords, very high domain rating and URL rating for that homepage, an Ahrefs rank of under 500, which is very, very impressive. Anyway, if we go into the top subfolders, we're gonna get an overview of all the different sections of their website that gets the most traffic. So obviously we're gonna see that the main route is getting 99% of the traffic, but if we keep scrolling down, we're gonna see a couple of sections. So airbnb.com slash rooms is getting around 7% of the traffic. We're gonna go into that later, all these different subfolders so this one's an interesting one as well that we're going to cover in just a second the stays part and then if we keep scrolling down we're going to start seeing a specific pattern of urls that are doing phenomenally well. So we're gonna start seeing the city slash stays URL. That's basically telling us that they're creating all these different pages for any relevant city, region, or town where they have Airbnbs in. So if we actually open up any of these, I'm gonna open up Chicago, I'm gonna open up Houston and Virginia Beach. We're gonna see something quite interesting. I want you guys to focus on the different sections of the page and how we're gonna see the same thing on all these other pages. Ages. So we start off with a strong H1, a bunch of different headings that definitely add a lot of relevance, different internal links, takes you to apartments, to houses, guest houses, amenities, and then some popular houses in Chicago. Again, another relevant heading that definitely adds a good amount of relevance some more sections down here. And then we have nearby destinations, unique stays, and the breadcrumb. Cool, if we go into the Houston URL, we're gonna see that it's basically the same structure of a page. So what is this telling us? We're just gonna take a look at Virginia Beach very quickly. It's exactly the same. So just like Canva, just like Zapier, Airbnb is also using templates to create that perfect on-page SEO, but also it gives them that ability to create these pages at scale. However, there is a big problem when we create these templates. So there's two main things that we need to watch out for. The first one is URLs. Make sure that there is some clear structure to the URLs and that they are legible. And the second one is internal linking. So it's very easy once you start creating tens of thousands of these template pages to accidentally have a couple thousand orphan pages. And actually after doing some digging, I saw that Airbnb actually has over 120,000 of these location-based template landing pages. But if we actually take a look at their URLs, their URLs are actually very, very structured. So for Chicago, we have Chicago dash IL slash stays, Houston as well, very structured and very clear, and Virginia Beach as well. And if we actually go back to Ahrefs, we're gonna see that all of these URLs are extremely well done. This not only helps users to know exactly which pages they're on, but it also helps search engines. So in terms of URLs, they're doing a phenomenal job. And then in terms of internal linking, if we scroll all the way down, there's three things I wanna talk about. The first one is this breadcrumb, which helps both users and search engines to exactly the order and the structure of the pages that are all connected. Airbnb also has this section over here where they talk about nearby destinations and they have internal links to other areas that probably don't have as much authority or don't get as many clicks. So there's definitely internal linking on all of these and that's also very well done. If you go to Virginia Beach, for example, we also see all these nearby destinations right here. And then the final thing that I wanna cover is this internal link section down here of unique stays on Airbnb. So this is actually a section that we can find on almost all of the pages down here as well for Houston and Virginia Beach as well. So this is actually a great leeway to talk about another separate subfolder. I'm just gonna open up a few of these pages as well. And I wanna show you guys that there's a separate template that Airbnb is using for a totally separate type of keyword that they're targeting. So not only are they targeting the location-based keyword, but they're also targeting all those different types of stays that you have access to when you use Airbnb. So they are talking about unique stays. So we're talking about cabin rentals. We have camper vans and lake houses. So I know there's a, I know there's a few of these and we're gonna go into this in just one second, but I wanna show you guys this template. It is a bit of a different template, but at the end of the day, this allows them some internal linking here as well. This allows them to create these pages at scale. So if they find a new type of stay that they wanna target, they can really easily whip one up. And if we actually 
actually go into the subfolder. Hold on, we can just check camper as well. We're gonna see it's basically the same page and for lake houses, it's also identical. So if we actually take a look at the subfolder in terms of the traffic that it's bringing, we are gonna see something quite interesting. So we're gonna look up airbnb.com slash stays. That's the prefix that we're looking into. I'm gonna go into organic keywords. And here I wanna add a little filter just to remove the Airbnb keyword, just to show you guys the strength of this subfolder. So we're gonna see that they're ranking third for the word cabin, they're ranking first for the word tree houses, monthly rentals near me, what else? Lake house, they're number one, lake houses. So they're definitely doing very, very well for this section of their website as well. And again, it's that other type of template that they've just applied to any and all relevant keywords. A final thing that I wanna show you guys is a different subfolder that basically summarizes and is a perfect example of the SEO that Airbnb is doing. If we actually go onto Airbnb's website and we type in airbnb.com slash luxury, I actually found out about this when I was doing this analysis, but they have this basically separate side of their website that's exclusively focused on luxury retreats. If you type in a location, it'll, it's only gonna show you those luxury destinations and stays. It's a perfect way to dissect Airbnb's SEO strategy on a very small scale for this specific section of their website. So we already know for a fact they're gonna have a bunch of different templates. Again, internal linking is phenomenal. We're looking at other popular destinations. So these internal links are definitely very valuable. And we're gonna see when we get all the way down to the bottom, all the different destinations that Airbnb has for luxury retreats. And again, if we click into any of these, I'm gonna open up Bali, and I'm also gonna do the Swiss Alps, just to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. It's gonna be that same style of template that is just targeting a different set of keywords. So now we're looking at luxury rentals. Before we were looking at, if we go back to Chicago, we're looking at vacation rental apartments. So again, we're gonna see all of these different luxury rentals, but it's the same exact type of page. And again, some content at the bottom to add some relevance. And we're gonna see the exact same for the Swiss Alps. So Airbnb knows exactly what they're doing. They're doing a phenomenal job. Again, that use of templates is something that we're seeing a lot for big companies that are doing SEO extremely well. So it's definitely something we need to think about. I hope you guys learned from that video. If you guys are interested in my complete guide on how to do keyword research in Ahrefs, click on this video. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.